Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, which body parts can you actually grow back? As explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. There are a bunch of animals that can regrow a limb or a tail once severed, but unfortunately for us, we're not one of them. In humans, most injuries result in the formation of scar tissue rather than regeneration, although there are a few lucky body parts that can grow back. Like what? And please don't say that wart I just had removed. Well, the most obvious one that most men probably don't consider is the endometrium, better known as the lining of the uterus. This is the only human tissue that repeatedly grows back in its entirety, something it does every single month as part of the menstrual cycle. Your skin is the next most successful. As the body's largest organ, it's also the one that bears the brunt of the outside world, and is, as you're no doubt aware, pretty good at growing back into place provided the amount removed isn't too drastic. Fingertips will often grow back too, but again, only if a relatively small amount has been sliced off. Is there anything more surprising? Of the internal organs shared by both sexes, the liver is far and away the most powerful regenerator, able to grow back to its full size even if three quarters of it is removed. The kidneys too have a certain degree of regenerative ability, although far less than in lower vertebrates like fish, several species of which are able to regrow entire kidneys. And is that the extent of everything we can grow back? That's everything we can do without outside help, but there have been remarkable technological advances in the field in recent years, with much of it focusing on implanting either stem cells or lab-grown tissues. Seven patients received regenerated bladders back in 1999, which, as of a report in 2014, were all still operational. Progress has also been made with research into artificially regenerating sections of the heart, lungs and spinal cord, with the hope that we'll see working repairs for these organs in the not-too-distant future. What about, you know, it? That bit? The thing? Sorry, I don't follow? You know... What if someone needed to regrow their... their penis? Ah. Human testing for lab-grown penises is actually not far off, following successful trials with rabbits. It's okay, they grew special rabbit penises for the bunnies. As a solid organ, the penis is a complicated thing to pull off, so to speak. Sitting at the top of a difficulty ladder that starts with flat structures like skin at level 1, then proceeds to cylindrical structures like blood vessels at level 2, then non-hollow tubular structures like the bladder at level 3. Finally at the top are these solid organs like the penis or heart or pancreas at level 4. As a level 2 structure, the vagina is actually easier to produce than the penis. Between 2005 and 2008, four women were successfully given regenerated vaginas, and to date, all are still functioning normally. What about like an arm or a leg? Can we grow one of those back? Not yet, although research on the zebrafish, which can regrow damaged fins, is leading scientists down some pretty interesting paths. With any luck, it won't be too long before medical science can literally give people a helping hand. Or, you know, foot. Oof. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.